The emu. The emu. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, it, he came in and said, Uncle Walt, or uh, whatever he, he was calling me that, that week, <laughs> he says, I need your truck. And I says, and you can go along if you want to. And I says, I ain't doing nothing else. I'm gone. Especially if your good-looking girlfriends go along with you. So, I don't even ask him where we're going. This is in Kinston, North Carolina, anybody knows. He gets in, I get in the truck on my one side and he's driving. And uh, we drive and drive probably five to eight miles somewhere. And it turns out that this, this uh, children's camp or it's a place they keep orphans or something. Big building, big outfit. And, uh, and somebody give them these e two emus. And one of them had gotten out and they were afraid the other one would get out and hurt somebody or hurt some of the kids. But I didn't know what was going on. I just standing back watching. And uh, we got out. And he said, come on. We went around behind the, one of the buildings had a lean-to on it. And it was six, eight feet square. Mm -hmm. And there was a, one bird in there. And he was as tall as he was. <laughs> and I just seen a video where the uh, one of tack, who are the native of Australia or South America or somewhere. Well, this guy, I don't own the bird, but the bird put him in the hospital with his feet. And I, 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 would just, I just stood back. So Jan, she's, she's kind of little, you know, not too bad, had a rope and had a lasso. Well, you know, she poked it through the chicken wire. Ted got, went in through the door, and of course the, the bird got as far away from him as he could get, you know. So Ted walked up and got the rope from Jan and made a loop in it. <laughs> and I just stood back, I said, well, <laughs> I will watch this. I didn't know, I, didn't know. I knew they were, that's, they were going to, they were going to get away from the children. That's, that was their job. Well, I guess they had, uh, both were scared of it. They both knew that much. You know, they're pretty intelligent people. Jan poked the rope about Naval High or someplace through the, uh, the chicken wire, and Ted took it and played a loop in it. And he finally, after a little while, the bird would would get away and kick at him, which is their way, I think. And uh, he finally lassoed that bird's neck. <laughs> Jan pulled on that thing to get him away from her boyfriend <laughs> before you heard him. And she put her fit, one foot up against south, close to the rope <laughs> and pulled, pulled that bird up. <laughs> and I said to myself, she's going to choke that bird to death. <laughs> And uh, Ted would move up there close and it, the bird would kick out. And, first, and then I heard a go, oh. <laughs> 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 I said, oh. <laughs> I said, they going to kill that bird. To myself, I didn't say another word. I was standing, standing back. And there was children, the children that come out there was watching them. And they were lying to them about they were going to capture it so we could feed it or doctor or something, I don't know. They well, did. Ted, Ted had a farm. He was going to put him on the farm. Oh, I, I forgot. I, that's probably what he's going to do. He's going to take him where he was. He'd yeah. be happier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I remember that. Yeah, they, they already he, made up a story. And, and, uh, and uh, Jan, Jan has got her foot against the against the fence, right? And she pulled And she's her, pulling from the outside. Yeah. And she's scared. She's scared it's going well, to... Well, she looked... Uh, he would have choked me. <laughs> he would have choked a lot. <laughs> she didn't want that bird to hurt her, her boyfriend. And I was ten foot back, and I was 
kind of speed in the pressure. <laughs> and that bird kept, ah. I said, you better, I don't know if I said it out loud or not, you better let up, let up. <laughs> First thing, the bird, bird, you know, was doing a, she had choked it to death. But, but it's still it was still kicking until it killed over. Is that is that what you said? Yeah, it was, it had it was still kicked. kicking. It was. Yeah, it kicked till it could kick. Well, you know, I've seen a chicken with its head cut off. They run around the field. They do all kinds of things, and they're dead. <laughs> they're dead, dead. Yeah, and they're still this, running around. You, emu, she's pulling on the emu in desperation to save her boyfriend, Ted. Probably. And uh, you know, of course, well, Ted's in a lot of danger. <laughs> he, you know, the emu, he might have been. <laughs> But she, but but this this bird is kicking until kicking. until it died died. Yeah, it quit kicking before she let go. It did. There was no more kicking. Oh, okay. Does she was. It's, yeah, it, it <laughs> made his last. Uh, <laughs> then I all thought, the orphans are standing around looking at they, Ted they look at and it, Jan and, they and stop, the dead bird. <laughs> they stop and tell the orphans. That they go take it to a better farm. He has a big, big place. He's they go take it. And it's just asleep. And they, this is what the emu was better for the emu. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 they didn't give it an artificial respiration. So, so Ted, you, Ted, and Jan drove away with the emu. Well, what'd you do with it? So Ted takes it back to Jan's. I think she has a big house, and behind her lives a a woman with a, uh, I guess he was 25, 30, son. And they had a place they skint deer. You know, when he he would go kill deers mm -hmm. and clean deers. And, and uh, they hung that emu up just like it would be if it was a deer. And this boy gutted him down and took the meat and cut his feet off and the feet was, you know, blow, Big blow the knees was this long. Mm -hmm. We kept them a long time, and uh, they were made. They were very careful with the skin. And I, of course, asked why. He says the uh, his editor or his paper, the guy that did the paper for him, used them used the little feathers for fly fishing. Yeah. Making fish, uh, fish, uh, fish oh, flies. Yeah, that's really smart, isn't it? I don't know. I think they've been doing it. Probably ordered them from wherever this thing mm -hmm. is. And I said, "Well, that's the neatest thing I ever heard of." But uh, the Ted would cook this stuff, and everybody would try to cook it. I couldn't eat it. It was too tough, and it has no fat whatsoever. I don't know how old this bird was. I didn't look at his teeth. <laughs> 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 I added that for humor. <laughs> but I just, I just, 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 to, just to get the picture. The funny picture was, here's Ted inside trying to corral this emu. Jan, yeah. Jan is pull, pulling his neck up against the fence. Well, she, when she gets the last control of, uh -huh. of the bird, the bird ain't got chance. <laughs> I don't care if he's 300 pounds. Just, this just, bird has is, is got his neck up against the fence, you know. He ain't going to hurt my boyfriend. <laughs> and then I'm all these the, orphans running and looking. I'm about to laugh and I'm about to fall out, I'll tell you. How, I, how many orphans do you think would saw, saw all that happen? Uh, how many would. Uh, There's a bunch of little girls and boys. They weren't very big either. I didn't know that we were going to an orphan. Or uh, orphan. It, it was a place. I don't think it was orphanage. I think uh, it was a place where they didn't have any other place to put them. Uh, uh, foster, she, big foster home. I think home it was or, a foster home. Yeah. Uh, can, where, where the you, warehouse kits were a little while You can in. call Jan and uh. ask her. <laughs> 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 but that's. Uh, that's all I got on the emu. And <laughs>